virtual town hall was held today by Minnesota lawmakers and the Department of Transportation about the progress of the Northern Lights Express. That's a commuter railway set to begin in Minneapolis and end in Duluth. Northern News Now's Madison Green listened in and shares what needs to be done to keep this project on track. From the Twin Cities to the Twin Ports, the Northern Lights Express is almost set to begin. NLX is a proposed passenger train service between Minneapolis and Duluth. It would operate four round trips a day, so that would be four trips each way, so four northbound, four southbound each day and it would have about two and a half hour travel time. MnDOT leaders say a ride would take passengers on existing tracks and cost about $35 for one way. The project finally received the $194.7 million of state funding it needed back in May. But that accounts for only 20% of the funding. The rest will need to come from federal grants. Uh, the first is the Corridor Identification and Development Program, or Corridor ID for short. And that funds what we call project development work. Um, we also applied to the Federal State Partnership Program for Interstate Passenger Rail, and that program funds uh, capital projects. Without any word on the federal funding, the project remains at a stop. We are waiting to hear on the federal monies, so um, stay tuned for that. It sounds to me um, from the various stakeholders that that is going to determine a lot uh, about the timing and um, how the project proceeds. Which Senator Jen McEwen will make sure is public knowledge. We've done our part as best we can here in the state of Minnesota and locally. We'll keep doing that. And um, my office, and I know our delegation, is very committed to making sure that the public is kept in the loop at every step of the way. In Duluth, Madison Green, Northern News Now. This was the first of several town halls. Senator McEwen plans to host one every quarter. MnDOT will also soon be launching a website to keep you updated on all of the latest details with the NLX.